These fighters have gained a reputation for being ruthless, barbaric killers. From a base among the villages that pepper the hillside, they launch missions to murder. Slitting the throat is a favoured method of execution. Organised into groups of about a hundred men, they travel around largely at will. Only an army helicopter can launch an attack. These men claim that the random killing of foreigners has succeeded in isolating and weakening the regime in Algiers. They blame foreign governments for providing the financial assistance which keeps the regime in power. Most fighters are armed with shotguns. About a third have automatic weapons stolen from the police. They have direct links with the political leadership in Algiers, but commanders here insist that no political decision can be made without consulting them. Among them, fighters from the rival armed Islamic group. In these mountains, both Islamic armies work together. The men who cover their faces travel unrecognized into cities to carry out their missions. These men share the same goal, to create an Islamic state in Algeria. A checkpoint run by the militants. It's a potent symbol of territory gained and a brazen challenge to the regime in Algiers. A truck passes through, carrying members of the armed Islamic group. There's a makeshift field hospital with a qualified doctor. Supplies are brought from Algiers. Nearby, a bomb factory with detonators, batteries and timers. Bombings have become an increasing feature of the violence of the Islamic groups. This makeshift bomb will be deadly. To cause maximum damage, the bomb maker puts pellets in the canister. The materials he uses are either stolen or bought in local shops. The fighters pride themselves on their self-sufficiency. As well as bullet belts, these soldiers make their own uniforms. They say their rebellion grew from nothing three years ago without the assistance of any foreign country. <laughs> Their communication centre is in another hillside house. They have a small but functioning military infrastructure. Walls are lined with maps showing their troop deployment. They send their death threats on a fax machine and the computer stores information on their military strength. It's here that the Army of Islamic Salvation draws up the list of the men they plan to murder.
Je dors euh, très difficilement, très préoccupé, et je me réveille le matin euh, extrêmement préoccupé, effectivement. Omar Belouchet is on that murder list. He's been forced to move and now lives in a protected area after an attempt on his life. C'est très dangereux de, 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 de faire un, un petit documentaire et de sortir. On ne peut pas rester plus de, de deux minutes. Hein. Moi, je l'ai vu venir parce que là, je regardais mes enfants. Euh, ma fille ne voulait pas fermer la porte, donc je me suis poussé pour euh, tirer la, la porte. Et donc, j'ai vu une personne venir derrière moi. J'ai compris que c'était pour moi et euh, elle venait en courant jusqu'ici. Elle, elle a sorti son arme. Mais avant cela, j'avais déjà vu, j'avais déjà mis la, la première. J'avais commencé à, à, à partir. Donc, quand elle est arrivée ici, la voiture l'a bousculée et elle, a, elle est partie. Euh, elle a tiré sur, euh, sur la voiture, n'a pas pu me toucher, parce que là, généralement, il tue, euh, il tue les gens en, assis dans, le, dans, le, dans la voiture euh, en touchant la tête. <musique> 